that's why I've said time and time again, I don't mind fighting Charlo. You know, I feel like that would be a great situation to have an interim belt. You know what I mean? It, it makes sense on both sides, but I feel like Charlo, he's not sure about himself, you know? If I was such an easy fighter, like he said I was, he was gonna knock me out, break my neck, like how he said he was, he would have been took me out. Cause I'm a good, I'm a good resume if I get beat, if anybody beats me, I'm a good resume on anybody's resume. You know what I mean? So I feel like I told them, I called Luis Acubas, I told tell him, tell Al Heyman, we can make this an IBF or a WBC title eliminator or a, or a WBC interim title. And then the winner takes Canelo. I feel like that's it's the fairest thing to do. You know, Charlo, he's never fought at 168. So how is he going to skip the line and go fight Canelo, his first fight at 168? First thing that comes to your mind when I say Jamal Charlo? Chicken. <laughs> now, this ain't no video to down talk Charlo or none of that shit. I'm just going to tell the truth about Charlo and how I feel. And this ain't no hate on Charlo or no knock to Charlo. Because I do rock with Jamel. I just don't really rock with his joke of a brother, Jamal. Now, when Jamal was at 154 and he beat J-Rock, I was like, this dude may be a serious problem. And he still do got the skill. Don't get it twisted. But he's talking about going to 168. Having done close to nothing at 160. His last solid win was against an inexperienced J-Rock, solid win, not discrediting Charlo, but how long are you going to live off of that win? Just think about it. You had all you could handle with Carl Ball. In your last fight, you got your ass whipped, but we all know you're the more marketable fighter. I thought you won the fight in a close fight, but you was getting beat up in that fight. Now, I do feel like Jamal Charlo fights to the level of his competition and it's not like he trained like he was facing a Canelo or a David Benavidez who we're going to talk about in a minute but it's just the fact that you have had some fights with lower level opposition and you be getting your ass handed to you Jamal at least with Jamel he almost went undisputed his last fight unified fights everybody has a, a hell of a resume Jamel, man, a lot of people sleep on that man's resume. He fought some good fighters. And he wants to fight the very best. Jamal, on the other hand, I just don't know, man. Let's talk about this whole David Benavidez and is he ducking David Benavidez. You know, Jamal Charlo is one of those type of guys. We all know somebody like this. They are the shit until somebody calls their bluff. Especially somebody that is their size or somebody that they know will get with them in the fight they'll talk all that shit but if you stand up to them they kind of tuck their tail a little bit and jamal charlo is the same shit it's like you know how you walking past a gate and you hear a fucking dog barking at you but when you go close to the gate he starts to run back you know or if he just so happened if you just so happen <coughs> To get inside the gate or he gets outside the gate that he starts running or he's not you know he's he's barking while backing up that's what the hell i'm saying you know and jamal charlo is giving me that same energy he was saying benavidez is an easy fight why not prove it david benavidez hopped on your ass as soon as you said that said we can get it in and he gave you time it was in january he said we could fight in september Basically saying you can get you one or two tuna fights before I beat your ass at 168. Because David Benavidez do got a point. If you feel the man is so easy, why not go beat him? And then that makes the Canelo fight that much bigger. Matter of fact, it would be more up high demand. It's not really high demand right now, but it will be high demand if you beat somebody like a David Benavidez. That's a solid ass win. And David Benavidez, I keep trying to tell people, you want to face him now. Because he's young as hell and he's only going to get better over time. So, Jamar Charlo, if you don't want that smoke, it's cool. Stay at 160, clean out the division. I understand that. But don't be saying David Benavidez is an easy fight, but I won't show you guys. That's no difference than fucking Mayweather used to do that shit. Oh. 
I, I'll beat him easy. Regardless of whether we think you can beat him or not, that's easy to say. Go show us that. You know? I'll beat him easy, but I'm not going to fight him. Y'all remember it. Uh, Mayweather did the, he used to do that shit all the damn time. Oh, I beat Triple G. Easy. That's an easy fight. But I'm not going to fight him, though. <laughs> Come on now, man. But at the end of the day, that's my opinion when it comes down to Charlo. I do feel like Charlo is intimidated by David Benavidez. 